Hey, what's new? Well, what's new is a lot. So anyway, I've been uh, super busy at the new place here. I'm starting to get the shop kind of cleaned up and I still got stuff everywhere. I got stuff hanging everywhere. Anyway, one of the things I modded up real quick was to I'm gonna hang up my grinders. I welded a little piece of angle iron on the top of it to hang some stuff from because this doesn't get used all the time. So since I got a limited space, I'm gonna try to utilize that space. So I'm just gonna hang them all up there. But anyway, what do I got going on today? Well, I just wanted to say, you know, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everybody. So I just wanted to uh, shoot a little video on something that I got going on right now. Uh, maybe you might want to buy and build yourself a gift or make one for someone else. So today what I'm going to do is take an Expo uh, trailer hitch receiver type of uh, a winch mount. And then I'm going to take one of my old, uh, I think it's like a 12,000 pound, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to take this baby, mount it in there. But I got to get a different roller fair lead, but either way, we'll get that later not worried about that i just want to have something that i can use right now so the idea of this is this is going to mount on there and i'm going to use these cables these are some 30 footers so this is some pretty good wire um, the idea is to take these quick connects or anders plugs i uh, have these on the other truck to you know you just plug it in the front end of the vehicle or back, wherever you want to have it, and then you just clip it onto a battery. So the idea of this new one, I'm going to wire this directly to this, so that way I'll be able to just clip these onto either the vehicle's battery or bring a vehicle a battery with you, uh, you know, in case you can't reach or whatever the case may be. So we're going to mount this all up and. Uh, I'll uh, probably do a little video on what it's like when we're using it, but stay tuned. All right, now we got our cables. We got this mounted. We got one side I brought up higher just because it'll be easier to have my hands in a little closer. Uh, that one I couldn't really go up any higher because the port where it plugs in the controller. Uh, again, I need a roller fair lead, but you know, I ain't worried about that right now. But look at this cable. Crikey, mate, it's a joint. Now, this is not sponsored. This is just stuff that I bought. But um, anywho, I figured this might help somebody or give somebody an idea on uh, what to do or what, you know, just a couple ideas. So I'm gonna just wire this baby right here, okay? I'm just gonna take these wires off go on side here and what's nice i don't even have to crimp on ends i actually thought i was gonna have to crimp on some ends i'm gonna put those babies on there so basically what happens is you show up to the job you put this in your hitch and uh you know you take your cables out of your bag and you plug it into here hook it up to your battery on the front or bring a battery whatever and uh, then you can pull from the back of the vehicle, or if you got a hitch mount on the front, you know, then you can mount on the front or the sides or however. But, you know, it's pretty handy to have. Uh, the other one that I had, it was not gonna, it didn't have enough eighth to pull. So this baby should work good now. So, anywho, I'm gonna just throw this all together and then I'll do a demonstration later, but it'll probably be quite a while. So, all right, we'll catch you later. Also, real quick, I just noticed inside the, uh, the bag here, there's a couple of little terminals where you can screw it into your battery and then you got some studs and some nuts and some bolts and a little cap for the ends of your plugs. Uh, so that's all those goodies. So I'm gonna put this back in the bag for the moment. I really don't need it. And I won't really use any of that except for that one cap. But for now, I need to remove this baby and get in there and get them old wires off. All right, now we're in here. Got your hot wire on the left. I put an H in red paint marker, just to remind myself. And it's pretty easy to remember, folks, if you were to be messing with any of this. See your ground strap? Goes to the ground. So, you know, can't really screw that up. So I'm gonna unhook those two, and then I will probably 
throughout this the same way under and all that, you know? All right, now I had to loosen up the other side of this ground strap. And you wanna make sure you clean up any uh, corrosion <clears throat> before you, uh, you know, do all this. But, uh, you know, it's gonna be fine. All right, all right, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna clean it up with this wire brush first, cause that's, that's pretty bad, right? Yeah, right there. All right, now, don't do like I just did and forget something. See it? Yep. But anyway, we'll get that on there, get this button back up, and then we'll be done till we get that other fair lead and get a moment to where we can test it. 